What's up everyone, welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. Today on the channel, I'm really excited because we're recharging some air conditioning. So uh, if you are looking for instructions on how to recharge your AC, you came to the right place. Today we're going to top off a Acura TSX that just needed a little bit of refrigerant because it was not putting out very cold air when it was hot outside sitting idle. So we're gonna top it off and the Land Rover is going to literally take us from about zero. So the system has been uh, undercharged for a long time. Uh, it's got a leak somewhere, but we're gonna recharge it today using one of these. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Stay tuned. All right, guys, a quick, a quick, simple rundown on things we need. Uh, highly recommended that you use some latex gloves and some eye protection just in case you have a little bit of refrigerant splash out at you. Uh, this is a nice vent temperature uh, sensor from Bluepoint. Uh, you can get these in all different shapes or sizes, but uh, it's, it's good to have one of these to see your progress inside the cabin, how far you've gone. And of course, you can uh, pick your favorite AC recharge kit. Um, literally just comes with a hose and a gauge and allows you, uh, you know, the opportunity to recharge your system. So these all come with instructions. Uh, I'm going to start rolling them in here. Uh, it basically will tell you from start to beginning exactly what you're going to do. Uh, you need to first open the hood, find the low pressure service port. So the low pressure service port is oftentimes found just after <clears throat> your accumulator and it sometimes will have an L on the cap. So an L on the cap will obviously designate low pressure. You can see here on the Acura, this also has the, the H for the high pressure side. So once you've located your cap, uh, you know that this is where you're going to attach your hose. So let's go back over to our bottle here. We're going to, uh, we're gonna remove the gauge, uh, <clears throat> the gauge at the top and we need to unscrew and discard the little holder that keeps it from uh, being discharged in transport. After that, we're gonna screw our can back onto the gauge and we're ready to charge it up. So be sure to shake your canister very well. Uh, you want to get all of the sealants and additives mixed in very good. So before attaching your quick connect, we're going to go inside the cabin and get our initial reading here uh, on our uh, temperature. And we're going to make sure that our system is put in air conditioning and uh, you have it on high with recirculate on. This will create the maximum demand for air conditioning in your vehicle. So as you can see here, the Acura isn't doing too bad uh, and it just needs a little bit of boost because in higher weather or higher temperatures, uh, it does not perform as well. So next step is we're going to go and check what our pressure should be. So some gauges come with a uh, little dial on them so you can check the uh, you can basically have a quick reference, but I, a simple Google search for R134A shows that at 70 degrees where I am right now, it needs to be anywhere from 35 to 40 PSI. So uh, initial hookup of the gauge shows that I am about at 30 PSI. So it just needs a little top off here to get her going. So I'm gonna charge it to probably 35. If I can get it to 40, I will, uh, but that should be the sweet spot for me. So when you hook up your can here, uh, it, it's as simple as this. You're going to just pull the trigger on the can and you're gonna rotate it from the 12 o'clock to the three o'clock position and you can feel the contents of the canister uh, you know, sloshing around in there. So you you uh, turn it back and forth from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock and says in 15 second increments. So we're going to do this for 15 seconds and then check our pressure. Now, after we've checked our pressure, uh, we know that, hey, we're getting up there. It's doing well. Um, I'm going to do this two times on this and then we're going to go check our temperature. So as long as I'm a few degrees lower on my discharge air temperature, I will be 100% satisfied. 
So let's go back into the cabin and look at this. And it looks like we are right at 40 degrees. So we brought us down a little bit. Uh, it's probably gonna be just enough to make it perform a lot better in hotter temperatures. And I'm happy with that. Um, it just needed a little bit of boost. So the next project here, we're going to go over to the Land Rover. So the Land Rover is blowing some hot air. It's basically not even trying with the air conditioner on. One of the things that you do want to check, and it is explained in the directions, is make sure that your AC pulley is spinning. So you want to make sure that the clutch is engaged and the entire assembly is spinning. You can see here on the Land Rover that it is spinning 100% uh, here. So we are going to go ahead and trace our lines from the AC compressor down here to the fender. <clears throat> and you can see we have located the high pressure and the low pressure port. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook up to the low pressure port and see what our uh, pressure is. It looks like we're just off zero. So this thing needs a lot of help. So more than likely the rest of this can is gonna go into the Land Rover and hopefully get us to the point where it's gonna blow cold enough to be satisfied. So let's go ahead and in 15 second increments, we're gonna squeeze the trigger and turn it from 12 to three and 12 to three, 12 to three, and shaking it up as we go in. So uh, this is gonna take a little bit here and it's going to slowly rise our pressure. Uh, as you can see, it's starting to come up. And oh, quick forward here to getting us to, to about 32 to 35 PSI, I'll be happy with that. So let's go inside and check out what our discharge air temperature is. I don't think it's gonna be as low as the Acura, but it's definitely going to be close. So. I like it. It's blowing cold air and it's doing well. So uh, that is a quick, simple AC recharge, something that you can do at home. Uh, you know, with a simple kit, you just made your AC blow cold again. So, all right, let's wrap this video up. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. Click that subscribe button if you haven't been following me already. If you're one of the subscribers that's always been around the channel, awesome. Thumbs up to you guys, and we'll see you guys in the next video.